The Netherlands is the sixth most expensive country in the European Union. They say things as they are, okay? If you're not willing to learn a new culture, don't say I didn't want you, don't come. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back, okay? Thank you guys for all your love and support. It means so, so, so much to me, okay? So in today's video, I'll be sharing with you guys 10 reasons why I think the Netherlands might not be for you, okay? Listen guys, you know, you all know that I love the Netherlands. I love living in this beautiful country and I've made series of videos just talking about my experience and how much I've enjoyed the few years that I've spent in this country, okay? But, I do recognize that everyone is different and what I like might not be what someone else likes or what interests me or what I can tolerate may be entirely different from others. So I've decided to kind of compile a few things that I think would make the Netherlands not everybody's cup of tea, okay? So without further ado, let's get into this video. So the first reason I think the Netherlands may not just be for you is if you're not willing to learn a new culture or a new language, okay? Here in the Netherlands, the official language is Dutch and Dutch is spoken I think in barely five countries all over the world. So it's not the most common language in the world, okay? So that means if you're moving to the Netherlands, I would expect that you'll be open to at least learn the language or learn some of the Dutch culture. One thing I would like to put out there is that about 90% of Dutch people or Dutchies as I call them speak English. So if you're an English speaker and you're moving or and you're planning to move to the Netherlands, then you will be able to find your way around because a lot of people will understand what you're saying but i just feel like if you're moving to the netherlands to you know stay here for a few years or maybe even move here permanently then at some point you would get to understand that you really need to learn dutch to be able to develop some type of relationship with the locals and i mean that's how it's supposed to be abby like when you go to rome you behave like the romans abby <laughs> so the second thing i would say that should be like a red light that this country might not just be for you is if you're someone who do not appreciate directness or you are someone who cannot tolerate any form of directness okay so yeah i've made a few videos about the directness of the dutch people i mean the dutchies are known all over the world for their directness see they say things as they are okay and i do recognize that in so many cultures directness can be seen as blatantly being rude okay so if you're not someone who can tolerate you know someone being direct and you're not open to having that type of, you know, culture or that type of vibe around you, then maybe the Netherlands is not for you. Another thing that I want to talk about is the Dutch weather, okay? The Dutch weather is very rainy and it can be cold during the winter season. It might not be as cold as some other countries up north, but it is wet, okay? It rains literally all the time in the Netherlands during winter, summer, spring. Um, autumn just any time of the year you just be rest assured that you're going to get rain and sometimes it feels it feels like during summer the rain is even on another level okay which can be very very annoying so if you're someone who cannot deal with rainy weather okay wet weather if you're someone who likes sunshine who likes being in the sun you know just having fun sipping some glass of wine getting some tan and you're not ready to you know negotiate that then maybe the netherlands is not for you because <laughs> another thing that might make the netherlands a no-no for some people is the topography okay the netherlands is like mainly flat lowlands and absolutely flat we don't have so much mountains i think we do have a few mountains here in the netherlands i'll try to see if i can find some pictures and i'll put it here but to be honest, if you have been to Italy, okay, or you've been to Switzerland, you will realize that these things we call mountain here in the Netherlands are just hills. I did not say anything. Oh, Dutchies, don't come for me, okay? <laughs> if you're someone who likes to hike, who likes to be in the sky, you know, who likes your mountains. If you're someone who is very particular about it, 
then maybe the Netherlands is not for you. But I will put it out there that the Netherlands is in Europe. So what that means is that if you're a foreigner and you're living in the Netherlands already, that means you will be able to visit other European countries without additional documents. So even though, yes, we don't have mountains, here in the Netherlands, I mean, you can always book a trip to Italy, to Spain, to Switzerland, any time of the year and go see mountains if that's what you're interested in. But in this country, you will be disappointed if that's all you're looking for. Okay. Okay. So another thing that might be an indication that the Netherlands may not be for you is if you're looking for a country with a very, very low cost of living. Okay, I don't see the Netherlands as the most expensive country in the world, but it's also not the cheapest, okay? The Netherlands is the sixth most expensive country in the European Union. Consumer prices are about 17% higher than the European average. So that tells you something. It's pretty much an expensive country. So if you're someone who is looking out for, you know, a country that has really low cost of living or you're looking out for somewhere to have a really, really comfortable life with very low income, then maybe the Netherlands is not for you. Because okay guys, so now we are still in the business of money. Okay. Another reason or indication that the Netherlands may not be your cup of tea is if you're someone that like to live an extravagant lifestyle that like to show off you know that like to gather accolades you know you are the kind of person that like to be among the one percent of the one percent and likes to be treated accordingly then maybe the netherlands is not for you okay I made a video i think a couple of times why i love the netherlands and in most almost all those videos i always say that i love the netherlands because it's an egalitarian society so it means that everyone is treated equally okay and with respect here in the netherlands people are really not used to you know a very flashy extravagant lifestyle no people live within their means people are more chill people are treated equally you know the lifestyle here is really like chill vibe so even if you have money it's just for you to quietly enjoy your life or quietly afford the things that you can afford if you're the kind of person that wants to come and show you want people to treat you with respect because you're rich <laughs> then maybe the netherlands is not for you because you will not get that vibe here you will not so yeah now that we are talking about you know egalitarian society another reason why the netherlands might not be for you if you're the kind of person that do not believe in gender equality okay that believe that women still belong to the kitchen and men belong should earn more than women and that women should not go to school they should just be at home giving birth to children then maybe the netherlands is not for you because that's not the type what they promote in the society so as i mentioned the society is more egalitarian so they believe that everyone should be treated equally and with respect male or female so <laughs> if you're the kind of person that don't believe in equality and believe in maybe a, a more hierarchical society then the netherlands may not be for you okay don't say i didn't want you don't come <laughs> so number eight reason why the netherlands may not be for you is if you're someone who doesn't like water you have phobia for water or something and you cannot you're not even open to dealing with it then maybe the netherlands is not for you because of how much water that you have in the netherlands not just at the beaches but also within the city so you have water running through the city in canal in canal it's actually compulsory for dutch kids to learn how to swim at a young age so here in the netherlands i think as part of the school curriculum it's compulsory that the child must have a swimming diploma so that's how important it is for them because they do have water they do have canals running through the city they do have beaches so they they kind of try to adapt the people the dutch people or the people living here to you know their environment and what they have so i would say the netherlands has a really good relationship with water so if you're someone who don't like you don't like water you don't you don't want to be around water you hate canals maybe the netherlands is not for you okay so number nine reason that the netherlands may not be for you is if you're someone who is not open-minded if you're not re willing to respect other people's point of view then maybe the netherlands is not for you in this country the standard of morality is very 
I don't want to use the word confusing, but it can be seen as controversial. Okay, so some things that are okay to do in other countries are an absolute no-no in the Netherlands, but some things that are absolutely no-no in other countries are legal in the Netherlands. Okay, so when it comes to question of morality and what is good and not good, you can see the Netherlands as one that is very controversial. But I feel that the reason why, why the people are able to live with each other in maybe such moral controversy is that people are open-minded and people are willing to work with one another okay i'm not saying here that maybe if your standard of morality is different from what is quote unquote the norm here in the netherlands that you will not be able to survive here no i'm just saying that even if you have your own standards you also need to be a bit more open-minded because the culture here is more I'll say more liberal and a typical example is that I am a Christian and obviously there's so many standards of morality that I see here in the Netherlands that is not in line with my own belief system so it doesn't make me to stop believing what I believe so I believe in God and that's period but at the same time I'm also very respectful of other people's beliefs and and opinions so it doesn't make me to you know to be critical of them to condemn them at every opportunity no I try to understand but I also take my stance you know I understand why you do what you do but this is what I believe and period I'm not here to judge no one and I'm not here to impose my standards on you and I think that the, that's the mindset that can help you if you're someone who is also religious or someone who has a different standard of morality okay guys so the number 10 thing that may make the Netherlands say no no for some people is if you're someone who is very particular about variety of cuisines okay so I do know that a lot of people are food lovers and they love to be in an environment like where there are enormous number of meals food varieties and all that then if you're that kind of person maybe the Netherlands is not for you because the Dutch food has a record high novelty of being bland okay dutchies pardon me i'm not trying to be rude you all know i love you guys and i'm i'm willing to try your food and your food is amazing for me but for someone who is looking out for like variety of cuisines you know the dutch food might not just work but one thing i've noticed is that here in the netherlands you do get to find a variety of spices and groceries and ingredients from all over the world so maybe the food the dutch food might not be the best but you can definitely find spices that you need to make your own variety because that has been my case i've been able to get food items that i never even knew or even imagined that i could find here in the netherlands i was able to find them and i make my nigerian meals very well here so yeah okay guys listen see we are almost done or rather we're actually done because i've been able to share with you 10 10 reasons why the netherlands may not be for you and i can hear some people say <laughs> if the weather is bad the food is bad the people are rude the cost of living is high you need to learn a new language why on earth would anybody want to move to the netherlands i hear some people ask that question okay and I'm going to just keep this answer very simple because that's the reason why I moved. I moved to the Netherlands and that's why I absolutely love it. And that's stability and quality of life, okay? The Netherlands might not be the most fun place to live. I mean, you might not have a mountain by your window. You might not have the best cuisines in the world. I mean, you might not have the best weather. It might not be sunshine all year round. But one thing you will get in the Netherlands is an amazing quality of life you will get stability the netherlands is just to me a definition of home you know home might not be the best most exciting place to be but it's just the most stable comfortable place to be and that's how i see the netherlands so that's why no matter where i travel i might travel to really interesting wonderful places once i stay one week um, uh, I just want to come back. I want to come. I mean, bus trains barely come late. B public transport is stable. You have your bicycle tracks. You can cycle to work. It's a beautiful country. So if you're someone who is like big on stability, which I am, 
then the Netherlands may be for you, okay? <laughs> so yeah, guys, this is the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching and getting to this point, okay? So yeah, if you're Dutchy and you're watching this video, please let us know in the comment section if there's anything I might have gotten wrong or if there's something else about the, your culture that you feel might be a red light to some people who are planning to come over. Just share it in the comment section. It might be very helpful to other people who are at the point where they have to make a big decision. Okay. Thank you so much guys once again for watching and see you in my next one. Bye.